रफेल रफेल रफाल लड़ाकू विमान रफाल डील सोलह सौ करोड़ रुपए प्रति हवाई जहाज हो गया But what really is the Rafale deal about? Some years ago, the Indian Air Force put forth a requirement of more than 200 fighter jets. In response, the UPA government floated a tender and invited bids from all over the world. After various rounds and tests, the Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon were shortlisted. Then a detailed evaluation took place wherein the UPA government decided on the Rafale which had an outstanding low life cycle cost and a deal was struck for 126 rafel jets out of the 126 jets 18 were to be purchased in flyaway condition for immediate use of the indian air force the remaining 108 jets were to be manufactured in india by the hindustan aeronautics limited or hal a public sector company which would have created potential for employment and infrastructure development within the country Moreover the deal would also enable transfer of technology to the Indian company so that in future India could boost its manufacturing sector price negotiated per aircraft was 526 crore Now cut to 2014 Mr Narendra Modi comes to power he also announces his Make in India program on 8th of April 2015 India's foreign secretary states that deal between HAL and Rafale remains intact But surprisingly within 2 days Mr Modi announces that previous deal is scrapped and a brand new deal would be negotiated why well the Modi government does not explain on 30th of July 2015 and India officially withdraws from the 126 Rafale jets tender to negotiate a new deal number of Rafale jets goes down from 126 to just 36 jets price goes up from rupees 526 crore to rupees 1670 crore per jet that's more than 3 times and in comes reliance out goes the hal a company which has zero experience in building aircrafts headed by a ceo who has a shocking 35000 crores in debt gets a contract without any consultation with the cabinet basically 36 planes 60000 crores no make in india corruption color a classic modi government decision one thing is apparent here that this bjp government is doing their best to return favors to those who sponsor them but they are doing it with taxpayers money our money